Hello and welcome back. As we have understood earlier that there are two ways to start the Spring Framework or to activate the Spring Framework or Spring IOC container. Number one, by using the implementing classes of application context, that is what we have done. Also, we have an option to use the classes from the family of Bean Factory. Bean Factory and application you know, context are the interfaces. We have many implementations there. So whatever applications we have developed so far, we have used application context. In this video, we will try to use Bean Factory and understand the difference between application context and Bean Factory. Also in the process, we'll understand what do we mean by eager initialization and lazy initialization. Fine. So what I'll be doing here is I would like to create uh, one more main method class here just to show the difference. What exactly the difference between these two? Let it be launch application number two. Great. And uh, we do have one more main method class available. And I'll not be using application context here. I'll be using the classes from the family of Bean Factory. We have some classes which we can use here. Number one happens to be new default listable Bean Factory is the class name. Let me create the instance of it. As you can see, I have created the instance of default listable Bean Factory. Unlike in the application context, whatever implementing classes you're using, in the constructor you had specified what is the configuration file? Where is the information for the Spring Framework to do some task? So here in the constructor, you are not going to specify. You may have to use some of the methods for which I would like to create one more instance, which is XML bean definition reader. So let me create that instance here and this container I will attach to this particular instance and then using some of the methods, we have to load application.configuration file. The way we have to activate this IOC container is different than how we have done in the application. I mean to say application context here. Fine. So let me create the instance of that also here. As you can see, I have created the instance of XML bean definition reader. And also within this instance, I have passed the container which we are using, which is bean factory. Now what I'm going to do here is I will say here read dot load. There are many methods here. Load bean definition. You have to specify the exact what is the application, you know, what is the name of the configuration file? Like the way we have done here with the help of constructor. So this is the application.configuration file, which I have to load. So I'm going to say here, spring, you have activated, you have to do some task. What is the task I have to do? That information is available within this configuration file. And this is how we have to inform. So the way we have to activate the spring IOC container using the application.context is different than bean factory. In the bean factory, we have to use one instance called as default listable bean factory. And then we have to read that configuration file using some of the methods here. Also going forward, you'll understand this is not the only class which is there in the application context. We are going to use more of an application context itself. So for the Java configuration, it is different. For the annotation configuration, it is different. Right now we are going with the XML configuration. So only the class name is class path application, no XML application context. It will be different for Java and annotation. What we will see in the future videos, right? So right now I do have this right now to activate the spring framework. I mean, this time I'm going to use the bean factory IOC container, not the application context here. So what I'm going to do here is I will comment this part. I'm not going to use any of the beans. I'll go back to my application dot configuration file. And dependency injection also would not like to perform. I just want my spring to create a beans. I have commented this. No setter injection, no constructor injection, no automatic setter constructor injection, nothing. I have just asked my spring, create the beans of these many classes. Great. I would like to go back here. And I no want to use that. I'm not asking my spring to give me that bean. I have to call some method, nothing as such. I would like to comment this. I want you to observe this. I have commented this part also. Now I'm going to run this application, which is using application context. I would like to go to the application, right click. I'll say here, run as Java Spring Boot application. If I run this, you can see Spring Boot bean is created. Java bean is created. T-shape skills bean is created. Even though I'm not using any of this bean based on the information which is available in application configuration XML file, it is creating the beans. Even though I'm not using any beans for the constructor or setter injection or in any way, I'm not invoking this method. No, I'm not asking my spring to give me the bean. 
the moment i have specified that what bean spring has to take care if you run the application which has application context it is creating the bean this is referred as eager initialization even though you are not using any of the beans which spring is creating spring will still create the bean whether you are using or you are not using coming to the bean factory family i do have this application right right and i would like to run this application right now i'll go here right click run as java or spring boot application you can see you have not got any message here you have not got any message here we call this as lazy initialization unless and until you are going to use any of the beans spring will not create the bean right now in this application also i'm not creating i'm not using any of the beans but spring is still creating it eager initialization that is whether you use those beans or not doesn't matter i'll keep it ready in my container if you go with bean factory if you are going to use only then i will create if not i will not create the beans for an instance what i'm going to do right now is i'll go back to application dot uh, you know config and i would like to uncomment this maybe i would like to go for the setter injection here great and i would like to go back here i'm asking my spring please give me bean that means get me a bean which is there by this name that means you are going to use the bean so now if i have to run this right click run as spring application or java application you can see here t shape skills bean is created java bean is created setter is called setter injection through the setter injection everything is executed that means these beans are getting created whenever you are asking whenever you are going to use it if you don't use it is not creating any bean right now i have told ioc container which is bean factory this time could you please give me a bean of t shaped skills since you are using t shaped skills bean that time my spring ioc container will create the instance of this and since you are performing the dependency injection of a java so java bean is creating see here there is no spring boot bean also here making sense here now same goes here i would like to go back to my application number 1 where application context is being used i would like to go here i would like to uncomment this okay i have uncommented now let me run this application context application that means such a java application where application context ioc container is being used if i have to run this and you can notice here we are getting spring boot bean is also created now in this case why spring boot bean created message you are not getting because that bean is not being used you are creating you are using you have asked to give the t shape skill so you that bean is created and you are performing dependency injection of java object that means java bean is getting used so only java bean got created here if i have to run this again right click run as you can see spring boot bean is not yet created because that is not getting used fine so the conclusion here is if you go with application dot context whether you are going to use that bean or not doesn't matter spring will create the beans of all the beans which you have specified in application context or application configuration file all the beans based on this information spring framework will create in ioc container and keep it ready whether these beans these objects you are using or you are not using doesn't matter but if you go with bean factory in that case it will create the bean only if you are using example i have told my spring give me that bean that means t shape skills bean t shape skills object you are going to use since you are using that time my spring ioc container will create a bean of it right since i am injecting the java object that means java bean i am using that time my spring ioc container will create the java and since in the entire application spring boot bean i am not using anywhere you have not got the message that you no know, spring boot bean created here so this if you go with the bean factory it supports the lazy initialization if you go with the application context it supports the eager initialization and one more difference is that you can see here application context you are loading the xml file through the constructor if you want one more configuration file to be loaded then you have to create one more object of this that means one more new ioc container you have to create if you want to load four maybe configuration file four times you have to create four ioc separate containers you have to create that is not the case with respect to bean factory because we are using the method here example i have one more configuration file here i would like to just reuse this okay maybe configuration 
For example, two configuration files are there. See, I'm creating the instance of bean factory only one. There is only one IOC container. And what I can do here is I'll say here read dot load. Okay, let me just reuse the same code here. I will reuse and I'm just asking. All right, let me just use this one once again. Let me use it and I would like to add it. And I'll say here application configuration two. That's the name of configuration file here, right? So by using this one IOC container, you can load multiple configuration files, multiple XML files. But if you go with the application context, only one per one IOC container because this is getting load at the time of creation of this IOC container. So if you want more configuration file, then you have to create more IOC containers. Per IOC container, one configuration file here. Per IOC container, you can load multiple configuration file. Application context supports eager initialization. That means whether you are using the beans or not. Based on the information, it will create it will create the beans of all the classes you have mentioned and it, it will keep it ready. Whether you are using that or not, it's not a matter of concern. But if you go with the bean factory, if you are using the bean, it will create the instance. If you are going to use that object only then the bean will be created. Bean means it's object only. Since spring is going to create the object we refer as bean. Creating the bean means creating the object here. I hope you could able to understand provided if you have watched all the videos which are there in this playlist which are there in this series. Starting till last if you have understood I hope you will not face any issue to understand this particular video also. Also provided you know the core Java properly fine so thank you so much for joining me in this video we'll meet again in the next video and understand more on the spring framework